welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious batch of gumdrop nougat candies. And this recipe today is a viewer's request, so thank you for asking. Also, you can make different versions of this candy. You could make it with nuts, you could make it with white chocolate, you could make it with dark chocolate. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to make it with the white chocolate and the gumdrops. Of course, gumdrops of choice, seasonal and non-seasonal. I'll talk a little bit about that. And I'll also show you um, the ones that I got made in advance with nuts in them and they're made with I guess the dark chocolate. So let's get started. We're going to be using 250 grams of mini marshmallows. Now I bought a 400 gram bag and I just took off what I needed from them but you may be able to get that in the stores as well. We got a 250, 225 gram of white chocolate and that's one bag, uh, one to two tablespoonfuls of butter and a cup to a cup and a half of gumdrops. Now today I'm using the candy gumdrops just cut in quarters and uh, but in season which is Christmas time you can get the baking uh, gumdrops and they're a little smaller but either one works for this recipe all right so let's get started putting all of it into a double boiler so what I mean by a double boiler is we're gonna have the, the boiler at the bottom with a quarter amount of water we're going to be putting a a glass bowl on top that's eat safe as so as that it don't crack we're going to be putting I'm going to put in two tablespoonfuls of butter but if you only want one it'll work as well I'm going to be putting in the marshmallow so everything goes in together what I'm going to do now is take this to my stove top and we're going to get it start to melt so when you put your saucepan on top of the stove, let it start to steam there now to boil. It just put it on a simmer, not a, a rapid boil, and then let this start to melt. When it starts to melt, what we're going to do, you see there it's starting to melt in the bottom. We're going to keep turning it because we want for all of that to blend together. We want the butter and the chocolate marshmallows to melt at the same time and I'll show you those stages. The key to making these is not cook the marshmallow and uh, the chocolate, you just want to melt it. Of course, be careful you don't scald yourself. You can also do this in the microwave and just limited time, anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute. I prefer to do it this way and you got more control over the stirring. But if that's what you got available, that's what to use. You can see the chocolate and the butter is melted. The marshmallows is partly. So at this point now, at this stage, you wanna make sure you keep it moving with a wooden spoon and to get it all melted the same. Again, not cooked on a low simmer and just melting like this. Okay, so after you got it melted like this, and all incorporated, what you're going to do is let it sit on your countertop off the heat for about a minute or so, just until it starts to, to all form together like this. Then you're gonna take your cup to a cup and a half of your chopped, your chopped, gumdrops and just separate them. I even got some black ones in there and that's my favorite but your baking gumdrops there's no black ones there's just red and green but again that's only in seasonal if you can't get it just get the candies that works perfect as well so you're gonna mix all of this in through like that so now what we're going to do we're gonna Put it over into a six by eight glass pan with some parchment paper in it. So what we need to do now is convert all of this hot, delicious candy 
I, I'm going to say candy, but no, we're going to Art Delicious Gumdrop Nougat Candies mixture out into the parchment paper. Now the reason for the parchment paper is for when it's set, we're going to be able to take it out of that glass bowl and then cut it on the countertop. So what you're going to do is just get me a pad so I'm not knocking here and just let it spread out like this and now I'll tell you what you need to do next. Okay, so you want to get all of the mixture out as much as you can because you know you're dealing with marshmallow, marshmallow is stringy. This do come off in hot water so that's fine. I got it everywhere but that's fine. Before we get started I'll tell you what's next. I wanted to remove some of that stickiness from my hands, give them a little wash. Anyway, so what you need to do now is take your, your pan, put it in the fridge, anywhere from two hours to overnight. So if you're making this for a special occasion and you just want, you're in no rush for them, probably leave them from over, overnight. But if you're in a rush and you forgot to make it, so you're just trying to push it along, it should be set within two hours. I'm going to put this one in the fridge. I do have some chocolate ones made in advance. We're going to let this one set and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I hope you're still interested in knowing how to make these delicious gumdrop nougat candies. What I'm going to do now is reach for the ones that's already set. I'm going to show you the ones that we've done previous and what you could do with them to store them. Let's just go. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it's set and ready to cut. and. I'm going to take you in a little closer to show you that and then you'll see it really nice. So pretty much you can cut these whatever way you want to do it and as you can see I got some here already done in into wrappers and that's parchment paper wrappers. So all you got to do is get a sharp knife and cut down a little press because you know it's really sticky. As you can see, I'm starting to get them cut and then I'll break it away because we got to break it to the from the candies. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so once they're a little sticky, but they they're absolutely delicious. Now just look, you can see those gumdrops in there. Makes for a delicious um, seasonal candy, of course, and if you were looking to make uh, Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or just to have these chewy little candies available for your family to enjoy. And that's all you need to do is cut them in little pieces like this. This one here has got the, the black licorice in it and that's my favorite. Well, I'm going to take that one. <laughs> well, it's a gumdrop, but it's the black gumdrop with the lic licorice one. Just look at how delicious is that. Pretty much over here, I had made a chocolate one in advance as well. And like I said, they're sticky, chewy, absolutely delicious. Now you can't see the gumdrops in the chocolate as much as you can with the white, but I like chocolate. I like dark chocolate, light chocolate, doesn't matter. I also got some made there with nuts in it, which I'm going to show you as well. So just cut them in little small pieces like this. And then I'll show you how you can wrap them or even store them. Okay, so what I got over here is the candies we made previous. These are a few days old and I got some displayed here on the counter. So pretty much all you need to do is take a piece of parchment paper. It doesn't matter if it's fancy cut or if it's just cutting just little sleeves. And what you're going to do is take one piece and just put the candy in the middle. You can fold it long ways or you can fold it this way and then work the candy in to fold it and then just twist on either side. I'm gonna show you that a little closer so that you can have a little bit more of an idea of how to do it. 
So this is your piece of parchment paper. Put it on your counter. Put your candy in the middle. You can fold it this way. You can fold it the long way. I like doing it this way and it's just nice and chunky. Just fold it over like this and just twist the ends like that on both sides. And then you got yourself a perfect little candy wrap. This could store forever like this. It'll stay for days and months. You can keep them into a jar like this. You could put it into a Tupperware container. Keep them in your fridge. Uh, when you're not eating them and when you're serving them just put them out onto your counter like that that's it so these here is the ones I made a few days ago and put them into this jar and I got walnuts in them and just look how delicious and to me it reminds me of um, eat more bar I don't know if you know what I'm talking about there it's got nuts in it and they're very chewy they're nice this one's a little more firmer because it's been setting for a little bit longer but that's it this is as good as it gets and easy simple and so tasty I'm going to give you a, another pointer on how you would store these delicious candies um, when you're putting it into your Tupperware container and you're putting um, the candies onto the parchment paper then put another sheet of parchment paper over the top of it keep it a little bit separated like this because they're sticky not well, they're not really sticky but they're chewy and you don't want for them when they're on top of each other like this they'll stick together and you'll have two but that's okay but if you got it like this it's nice and clean and more is better for your guests if you if you got family over and i like this because it's kept um, more cleaner because it's in a little separate paper like you would buy it in the stores so that's it I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode today and I thank our viewer for suggesting it and these gumdrop nougat candies are easy to make tasty and again less for a long time if it's stored properly and again you can keep them in the fridge in a bottle like this if you're going to be eating them just take them out and serve them onto your table or countertop so this is it if you like this recipe I'm going to share it with you down at the bottom of our screen I'm also uh, we got the link there for subscribing if you haven't already done so we'd urge you to do that Raymond over there in the background because he's got a little bit of a sweet tooth <laughs> and I think he's looking at these as well but uh, but for now he's pitch me one no I'm not pitching you one <laughs> but for now if uh, you also like to visit us on our website is www.bonitaskitchen.com you can it's a search bar there if you're looking for any recipe just put in the, uh, the prop words which would be gumdrops and all the gumdrops uh, recipes that come up there cakes all the cakes will come up uh, if you can't uh, find it on YouTube you can definitely search there you can also visit us on our Facebook page if you enjoy these recipes share them with your family and friends so they too can enjoy them so on that note I'm gonna thank each and every one of you for all of your video suggestions and your comments likes and shares also again we got traditional non-traditional Newfoundland and Labrador recipes there we got viewers requests and also recipes of ours so from our kitchen to yours thank you for joining us and you have a wonderful day. So I hope you're following along and you're interested in still knowing how to make these delicious, I guess, I don't know what the name of them is. If you're visiting Newfoundland and Labrador, don't forget to check out the beautiful town of Port Grave and visit us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Join us by the sea mm. Our journey in culinary Kitchen to yours.